Everything you need to make this E30 LS swap a breeze. Today is a special day. Today we get to work on the. What's so funny, Josh? You don't like you don't like my act, my acting. <laughs> All right, so today we're gonna do a full assembly, get into all the additional facts about this motor, see what's gonna go into the heart of this baby. Did we even show what color it is yet? No, we haven't shown the color. We have not shown the color. Okay, before we do the color, we got my man, Randy from SRPE. He's uh, currently setting up, about to put this motor together. Real quick, Randy, Yo. who, who are you and what do you do? My name is Randy. Um, I'm from Style and Roddy Performance Engines. Mostly build, specialize in uh, LS builds. I do engine rebuilds, Cummins, small block Chevy, done Hondas, Cummins, I think I said already. And then what are we doing today? Today, we're gonna do the engine assembly for the Fab Legends LS3 engine for the BMW. And we're gonna show you, do the, the, the unveil. Yeah, and we decided to go with a uh, neon orange full powder to give it some nice bling bling inside of the white engine bay. So all the other parts too are powdered uh, orange. Randy already did some work on it, kind of like pre-assembled it, but he brought it here to do the final assembly. So we're gonna go over basically this whole engine build. We're designing this to be a uh, naturally aspirated LS3. What car do you say it's from? It's from a Corvette, basically? LS3, yeah, it's from, a, it's from based off of a C6 LS3. Same thing as the Gen 5 Maros. You have a lot of torque rent. And a bunch of torque wrenches. You like long, shiny bars. Well, 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 what's going on right here? What are we doing? Right now, what we're doing is to load each piston with one wrist pin clip. So we can start assembly the piston rod assembly. So what are these called? These are the pistons? This is your piston. Are these stock pistons? To market JE Forged 2618 alloy. So you have two types of wrist pins. And what the wrist pin does is it holds the connecting rod to the piston. So you have wrist pins that are pressed in and they're fixed. And you have what's called floating wrist pins where they slide in and they slide right out. Mm. The only thing that holds them in place are these little clips. These clips come out, pins come out, and rods come out. And then you have a blown motor? And you got a blown motor. Wrist pin. That's it? All right, I'll let you try one. You want to get these ends? into the groove. Yep. And then this pin has to land in that groove in there. Let me see, let me, let me just see you do it. So we'll grab this, and I'll do a Kamehameha. This thing takes pressure, huh? <clears throat> I'm hurting my fingers. Don't drop the piston. I'll just let you do it. I give up. I'm measuring the piston down there. They're not all the same? They look the same. So what happens if they're off, or what are you, what are you doing? If they're off, then we'll be calling JD Piston to say what's up. And what is that tool that you're using called? This is called a micrometer. That's how uh, Josh measures his... Uh... Bruh. <laughs> you got your piston rods. Okay. Piston rings. Okay. So each piston ring is tailored per the cylinder. What we're gonna do now is load the piston rings, and then from there, we'll paint the crankshaft, just dust it off. It's going in. I don't even know, what, what part is that called? Crankshaft. The crankshaft. Is that a stock crankshaft, or is there something special about it? Stock LS3 crankshaft. Sick. This is Main cap? Main cap. So it's the, right here, the BTR LS3 Stage 4 D2. I don't know what any of these numbers mean, but it's gonna be choppy. So what are you doing to it? Uh, I'm just who cares? Just shove it in. Yeah. Shove it in. Shout out to Primo for powder coating the baby. So this is just for the assembly. As soon as you start the motor, a lot of that just washes away, huh? Within the next like 45 days, this motor will be in here. I'll be somewhere, somewhere like right here. We're about two hours in. We're almost finished assembly. The things we're topping it off with is a CHE train rocker upgrade. So this is a standard upgrade for most LSs. The CHE uh, kit has brass bushings and their center cord that they use for the rock arms. Gives you increased lift. 
some time later. We started receiving all the shipments for the car start assembly. Randy didn't um, finish the motor because we were missing the oil pan, dumps from Siki, and then he wanted to fine tune and uh, check some of his uh, measurements on the motor. So the parts are here now, he'll be here tomorrow morning and assemble it. We'll go ahead and go through all these all these beauty parts that came in. These are the uh, the motor mounts, billet from Siki. And these things are pretty. Put it, put it up close, let's see the, the craftsmanship on this thing. Yeah, this thing is so pretty. I think it'll work with basically any LS block, if I am not mistaken. Lipstick and the oil pickup tube that will go in the oil pan. Got the uh, urethane mount. I believe this is for the engine mount. This is the T56 CD009 cross member. So we need, we need this so that when we put our T56 Magnum F underneath the car, we don't have to make anything custom. This is the LS remote oil filter kit. Yeah, this is, this is just to relocate the oil filter so that we can put it at an easier spot. This is the steering Ooh. shaft, 30 E36 rack and column. Well, let's take a look at that. Oh yeah, that is. So this one's replacing, oh, this is replacing this right here. I'm guessing this is the oil pan. Wow, this thing is chunky and pretty. This thing's gonna look sick in the, underneath the motor. Pretty. Oh yeah, so this is a gasket. Look at those. Oh, these are uh, so we can attach our exhaust to. The header. Damn. Chunky, chunky header. So yeah, this header is designed to fit on a LS block. I think y'all can guess what uh, what's in this one. So yeah, when I ordered from Siki, they have the shaft, brackets, the mounts, everything, everything you need to make this E30 LS swap a breeze. That thong, you see how it just dropped? You see how it just, you see how it just dropped on him? <laughs> Here, drop, drop it one more time, man. <laughs> we got weight to it, boy. Randy will be on his way in a bit, and we'll yeah. start assembling this thing, and hopefully we can drop it in the car sometime next week. So we got Randy here. Yo, what's going on, dude? <laughs> we had to do some minor adjustments to the, the block. Can you explain what those were? So when we first started this build, the initial plan was for a bone stock LS3. We we'll wanted something very reliable, which LS3 brings. But later on, we'll decide to turn it up. We put turned it up how much? Uh, we turned it up a little bit, just a little bit. <laughs> he got ported head, ported by West Coast cylinder heads and Van Nuys. So when West Coast does your heads and they do the porting and they port the chambers, they ask you what size combustion chamber you want. And I told them pretty close to stock, because mm -hmm. at the time that's what the goal was. So we pulled the heads off and sent them back to West Coast. And they milled the head so we can get the combustion chamber yeah. size smaller for higher compression ratio. He's gonna put the uh, oil pan on right now. Let's get moving on this. Let's get going, man. What are you doing, Will? Pay me the big bucks. Randy was just talking all this mess, talking about this. This hose didn't fit. <laughs> Return it. But no, Send that shit back. Nah, but was, we just didn't. We had to just look, uh, look through the parts, right? Yep. Then we needed a, a wrench and chase base. Sent us the whole set of the. And a Dodge wrenches. Yep. That's pretty nice. I actually haven't seen these yet. Yeah, we have the whole set. Shout out to Chase Base for, for blessing us. Randy doesn't even have any of these. But he's a sucker. <laughs> when we're going to drop the motor, we're going to finalize the, the little, the finer details, and then it's in. Looks like it's basically it's basically done. We're gonna put the subframe in the car, I believe, early next week. Then he'll probably come later, midweek to end of week. Then we'll hold, drop the whole motor, but before we drop the motor, then we'll do the final adjustments to whatever we have to do. We uh, got the Siki oil pan, got the Siki headers, got the radium fuel rails with the fitting that worked, the plumbing kit that, that, that fit, huh, huh Randy? Good, good, yeah. <laughs> You got the Stout and Rowdy engine. Stout and Rowdy motor. Stout and Rowdy performance. Yep, we'll see, it. we'll see how it runs once we kick it on. I really appreciate you, Randy. Thank you for making dreams come true. Yeah, thank you so much, sir. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> You're welcome, man. Stout and Rowdy performance engines. We're gonna be putting his logo somehow. We still haven't figured it out, but we're gonna put something either, I mean, yeah, put a logo on this side and put a logo on that side. So it'll, it'll shine bright on the, on the actual motor. So yeah, next week, the motor will be in the car. Tune in for the next episode. So make sure you like and subscribe and check in with your boys. It, it tell us how you feel. Tell, Tell us that you're disappointed that we're putting an LS into the into the E30. See you in the next video. Adios, guys.